Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim students uh, this is Renan Martin grammar and composition and we are on page number 157 I hope all of you have the books if you do not have the book I will provide you the PDF of uh, the work that we are going to do today and today as you can see we are going to do the phrases and to start with we are going to do the adjective phrases in the first place what is a phrase a uh, phrase is a small group of words standing together as a conceptual unit and uh, it is a uh, it is a component of a clause now see first there is a word and then there is a phrase then there is clause and then there is a sentence so we will be doing the clauses uh, in the upcoming classes as well in o level 2 we will be doing the phrases as well so today we are going to do the adjective phrase all of us are aware that what is an adjective adjective is a word that describes a noun and uh, what is an adjective phrase before coming to the adjective phrase I want you to go through the sentences that are given in uh, the book number 14 we have seen that sometimes a group of words does the work of an adjective so whenever a group of words does the work of an adjective this is called an adjective phrase Similarly, when a group of words does the work of a noun, it is called an a noun phrase. And similarly, when uh, a group of words does the work of an adverb, it is called an adverb phrase. So same is the case with ad adjective phrases. We have some sentences and examples. Number one, the vizier was a wealthy man. In this case, wealthy is the adjective describing the noun vizier. In the second sentence, in the B part, the vizier was a man of great health. In this case, of great health. Man is the noun. Of great health or vizier is the noun as well. Of great health is the group of word that is performing the function of an adjective. So that will be an adjective phrase. You can see that wealthy has been replaced with of great wealth. So you can replace the adjectives with adjective phrases. But adjective phrase will be more than one word more than one word it will be an adjective phrase in the second sentence the magistrate was a kind man in this case kind is the, is the adjective but in sentence number B the magistrate was a man with the kindly nature so with the kindly nature these are given in italics as well with the kindly nature with the kindly nature is the adjective phrase because it is performing the same function that kind was performing kind was the adjective with a kindly nature is a group of word performing the function of an adjective so with the kindly nature is the adjective phrase next sentence the chief lived in a stone house the chief lived in a house built of stone so stone is was the adjective describing the noun house in this case built of stone is the phrase because it is the group of words built of stone group of words performing the function of an adjective so it is an adjective phrase so go through these sentences for a few more are given as well and then the definition of the adjective is given uh, adjective of the uh, definition of the adjective phrase is given as well go through the definition you already know the concept what is an adjective that describes a noun what is an adjective phrase it is the group of words that describes a noun or performs the function uh, sorry it is uh, the group of words that perform the function of adjective or it is the group of words that describes a noun same go through the definitions you should write the definition the copies with few examples so that uh, you don't uh, forget it and it will be easier for you to revise whenever you go through your copies that what were the adjective phrases now there are some adjectives and equivalent adjective phrases given in this table as you can see the golden crown golden is the adjective crown made of gold made of gold is the adjective phrase purple clock a clock of purple color of purple color is the adjective phrase white elef a white elephant white is the adjective elephant with a white skin with a white skin is the adjective phrase because it is performing the function of an adjective this is with a white skin is the group of words that are performing the function of an adjective phrase so these are very simple go through these and try to write uh, three or four examples uh, from your own of an adjective and uh, then adjective phrase 
try to uh, write from your own you can take the help of this table as well now we have this exercise exercise number eight pick out the adjective phrases in the following sentences we have to pick out the adjective phrases in the sentences you will do it in the book just underline the adjective phrase in the book a man in great difficulties came to help me in great difficulties in great difficulties is the adjective phrase because it is describing the noun man right so you will underline in great difficulties this will be the adjective phrase second sentence he is a person of very considerable renown person is the noun and of very considerable renown is the adjective phrase it could have been replaced with an adjective as well he is a renowned person he is a renowned person in that case renowned would have been the adjective but here they have used the adjective phrase instead of the adjective so he's a person of very considerable renown of very considerable renown is the adjective phrase number 3 wild beasts in small cages are a sorry sight in small cages in small cages you are underline the words in small cages this is the adjective phrase because beast is the noun and in small cages is the adjective phrase a man without an enemy is a man with few friends without an enemy underline without an enemy this is the first adjective phrase and second is with few friends this is the second adjective phrase without an enemy man is the noun without an enemy is the adjective phrase and then again man is a noun with few friends is the adjective phrase he tells a tale with the ring of truth in it tale is the noun with the ring of truth in it underline the words with the ring of truth in it you are underline karenge with the ring of truth in it this will be the adjective phrase a friend in need is a friend indeed in need underline the phrase in need friend is the noun in need is the adjective phrase so in need will be underlined a stitch in time saves nine stitch is the noun in time a timely stitch bhi ho sakta tha khair ye to hai bhi idiom a stitch in time saves nine to waqt ka ek taang ka be waqt ke so taangon se behtar hai anyway stitch in time saves nine stitch is the noun in time is the adjective phrase अगर हम कहते टाइमली स्टिच कहते हैं टाइमली स्टिच सेव्स नाइन ऑल दो वी कैन नॉट चेंज द एडियम इन दैट केस टाइमली वुड हैव बीन द एडजेक्टिव अ बर्ड इन हैंड इज वर्थ टू इन द बुश इन हैंड अ बर्ड इज द नाउन इन द हैंड इज अंडरलाइन द वर्ड्स इन द हैंड दिस इज द एडजेक्टिव फ्रेज and second adjective phrase in this sentence is in the bush so in the hand and in the bush these are the two adjective phrases number 9 gardens with cool shady trees surround the village gardens is the noun with cool shady trees yes with cool shady trees is the adjective phrase only a man with plenty of money buys a car of such beauty and power there are again two adjective phrases one is with plenty of money this is the first adjective phrase for the noun man underline with plenty of money and then underline of such beauty and power this is the second adjective phrase for the noun car so you will underline two phrases with plenty of money and of such beauty and power number 11 in a low voice he told the tale of his cruel wrongs tail is the noun and uh, of his cruel wrongs underline the uh, uh, underline the phrase of his cruel wrongs this is the adjective phrase do you know the story of the noble padmini of the noble padmini is the adjective phrase 
he was a lad of great promise lad is the noun of great promise underline the phrase of great from promise this is the adjective phrase he bore a banner with a strange device with a strange device is the adjective phrase underline the phrase with a strange device last one the police arrested a man of one of the criminal tribes of one of the criminal tribes is the adjective phrase man is the noun and of one of the criminal tribes is the adjective phrase underline this exercise number 9 in each of the following sentences replace the adjective in italics by an adjective phrase of the same meaning adjectives yahan pe italics mein diye hain italics is a font hai italics is a font and that font in italics the adjectives are given and you have to replace that adjective in with adjective phrase i think you should uh, do exercise number 8 on the book and exercise number 9 in your copies uh on exercise number 9 you should do in your copies i think yes in each of the following sentence replace the adjective in italics by an adjective phrase of the same meaning number 1 is a gray cloud spread over the sky italics is gray so gray is the adjective so you will replace the gray with you will write a cloud of gray color spread over the sky a cloud of gray color spread over the sky so of gray color will be the adjective phrase that you have replaced with the adjective gray he dwelt in a wooden hut dwelt means rehna the past form of dwell he dwelt dwelt in a wooden hut wooden is written in italics it means it is an adjective recipe mein pata hai ke wooden is adjective describing the noun hut so you will replace it with the adjective phrase by writing that he dwelt in a hut built of wood he dwelt in a hut built of wood so built of wood will be the adjective phrase number 3 he had a bald head uh, head is the noun bald is the adjective as it is given in italics as well so you can write that he had a head without hair so without hair will be the adjective phrase number 4 she wore a diamond necklace diamond is the adjective necklace is the noun he wore a necklace set with diamonds Oh, sorry she wore a necklace set with diamonds so set with diamonds will be the adjective phrase it was a horrible night in this case horrible is the adjective and you will replace it with the adjective phrase it was a night full of horror so you will complete the rest of uh, these sentences you will do up till 21 if you have any problem you can ask me and uh, this is how you have to do it replace the adjectives with the adjective phrase you will do exercise number 9 in your copies and exercise number 8 in your books but before you do exercise 9 in your copies make sure that you write the definition of the adjective adjective phrase and with uh, three or four examples that's it for now